So I'm pretty sure most of you guys are know what a private key is, pro private or public key. And um, we'll go through why this really matters quite a lot. So what are private and public keys? Well, just imagine your public key is your house address and your private key is your actual physical key to get into your house. So it's very important that you have your private key. If you lose the private key, you burnt down your house. So what's a hardware wallet? So pretty much all of the hardware wallet does, specifically with the ledger, because that's what I'm trying to show right now, is the ledger keeps the private key inside the ledger at all times. You don't get to see it. Can't. So another cool thing about this is that in order for you to make transactions, you have to confirm a transaction with the ledger on hand. It's also pretty helpful when you're trying to panic sell. It's also pretty easy to store the crypto there since it's all in one place. It's pretty useful. Also, um, another reason why you don't want, you know, there's many ways you can store your cryptocurrency. One way is not to store them in an exchange because you don't have access to your private keys in an exchange. If you get hacked or the exchange get hacked, it's all gone. <laughs> How to buy a Ledger Nano S? Well, you go to the uh, official site, Ledger Wallet, it's right there. Or you can go through a third party, but that's not recommended completely. So what you'll get is, um, you'll get the little key ring, the USB, you'll never probably use that. Also the key ring actually, what it makes you, what it gives you is it makes you look like a victim if you actually hold the ledger around. You don't want to use it, just telling you right now. But one important thing that this thing will give you is the recovery sheet and I'll tell you why you'll need it in a second. So, you know, you, you bought it already, you whatever. We're just going through the process right now. And uh, as soon as you get the ledger, it's going to tell you, all right, do you want to configure this as a new device or an old device? All right. And also the slide kind of just kind of blank when I had this. So here's a meme. <laughs> so back to that recovery sheet, it's pretty important. So the recovery sheet gives you 24, a 24 word blank list right now. You'll fill it out in a second. And what this does is that that's basically your private key. It uses the BIP39 protocol. You know, it's the, uh, the chances of somebody guessing your private key, pretty impossible. Now, going back again to that third party thing I was talking to you guys about, you probably don't want to get it from a third party. So what people can do is that they'll have this recovery sheet already pre-filled in for you. And if you don't know any better, you can put cryptocurrency in your ledger thinking you already have this recovery sheet. And a couple months later, when you're hodling, it's gone. It's happened to people. So if you're new, that's pretty important to know. It should look like a blank sheet. Oh, can't go back? OK. So yeah, so you'll have, it'll go through the steps with you. It'll give you 24 words to give to write down. It'll even ask you and confirm all the 24 words. You're going to have to write them down. If not, then your private key, well, if you're trying to reset your uh, ledger and you don't have those private keys, well, your house is burnt down again. So I don't remember most of the, um, it mainly handles right now Bitcoin and Ethereum. It also handles the fidget spinner, if any of you guys are interested in that one. That's the Ripple one. Don't recommend it. But it also handles other cryptocurrencies too. I can't remind, like Litecoin, Bitcoin Gold. It'll handle Monero at some point. Yeah, hopefully. It's pretty easy. You know, you, after you write them down and you figure out that, uh, also I forgot that the ledger uses the Google Chrome apps 
And it's pretty annoying because you'll never know that, hey, look, I have to go ahead and download the Google Chrome's app through the website because it never tells you in the instruction booklet. I'm telling you right now, if you're going to go get a ledger, it's going to use Google Chrome's app. Anyways, so after you download those, it's pretty easy if you've ever sent a transaction or received a transaction. If not, you should probably go ahead and try it out. If it's pretty simple. Also, it handles uh, Dogecoin. If, if, if you're not sold, this will sell you right now. That's, um, yeah. That's pretty much a really quick run down through the uh, how to use a ledger. Pretty quick, five minutes. Thank you. Good job. All right.